Welcome to your daily PSA. I have had a rough week last week. I'm talking about rough, y'all. Rough. <clears throat> Not only did my son get sick. I'm talking about he got sick, but he's better now. A dumbass brother got out of jail. Had a damn party. He didn't tell his sister about it. Fuck you, man. <sighs> it's crazy. My phone told me went RIP to like fucking the first of next month. I was like, what? I don't even want to talk about that. That hurt my feelings. My, my mom was like, you took care of it for me, but I was just like, Ugh. Then, now, if you don't know, I'm trying to get my master's in art history and literature. Oh, people at the school talking about, you get academic probation if you miss any days out of school, even if your son is sick. Fuck you. Well, all you gotta do is just write some old fucking, like, ten-page rhetorical analysis on ecclesiastical Latin and classical Latin. Yes, people, there's a fucking difference. <sighs> Required me to get up early in the fucking morning, dress up, and stand in front of some superiors and tell them why I should be there. I'm like, because I need to go. Fucking pricks. Rich, snobby motherfuckers. I like, slip on a gold bar. Anyway. Ow. Y'all. Something else happened. This is hot ass jacket. It was kind of chilly this morning. Man, my dreams. Actually, he ain't mad at my dreams. I'm talking about the guy that I'm head over in heels and fucking love with. I'm talking about I'm in love with this man, y'all. Found my YouTube page. Eek! Yikes! He found my page. He texted me yesterday and he was like, I'm gonna look at all your daily PSAs. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like all of my internal organs fell out of my ass on the floor right then and there. It was terrible. I mean, I had to pick them up and put them in freezer lock bags. I gave an anatomy book and put them right back in. I mean, it was easy to fall out, but it was like hard to put back in. But anyway, it was horrible. And But he likes them, but still though. Y'all, I'm in love with this man. I'm talking about, it's not like, it ain't lust, it's not obsession or nothing like that. I'm in love with him. When I first laid eyes on him, I was like, who is that? Oh, beautiful, beautiful man. Like, these beautiful like, green eyes. Shaggy hair. It reminds me of Chris Cornell a little bit. Got all these tats and just, he's very smart, very intelligent. He keeps himself rebellious, which I love. You know, he respects the arts. Oh, he can write. I'm talking about, he can write. That's just, you know. And he's in Cali and... I wish he lived closer. I wish I was there with him. God, y'all, I'm just like, woo, for this man. I'm like, hook nuts, love for this guy. And he saw my YouTube page. Dang it. Anyway, there's nothing I can do. He's watching it now, so. Mm -mm. He knows he's fine. He knows he's fine. See him fucking up. Anyway. <laughs> That was my weekend. Hopefully, my week, excuse me, hopefully it's better. This week is better than anything. Especially waking up in the morning. Early in the morning doing a whole bunch of shit. But anyway. This is ridiculous. Hold on. Ugh. Thought since I was a tomboy, I didn't have style. Girl, look at these baby fat boots. You what? Anyway, let's get let's get started with this video. Oh, I ain't coming out with nothing. But anyway, um, this is I've 
decided to do like a little collective haul for you bitches. Just um, stuff I got during the month or for a couple weeks that I liked. And you know, I got the FTC disclaimer. This is my stuff that I got with my money. And these are my opinions. And I didn't get paid for this shit. Shit, I know I didn't for this stuff. So let's get started. Alright. Um, I don't want makeup that much, y'all. I only wear it when necessary. Like, if I'm going to, like, either, like, just out to some fancy shit or, like, I had to do, like, last week I had to go somewhere. I don't really wear it. Or if I'm on photo shoots, I wear it. But sometimes I have photo shoots where I like to be natural. And that's what I do. Natural, let my skin breathe. But, um... You know, that's just me. That's old algae. Um, I've been trying to find this like foundation for a minute for my skin, cause it's hard, you know, for my skin tone. But I talked to somebody. Hair trends for you helped me out a lot. You know, she told me to get some Milani, and I love Milani. Milani has some like really good lipsticks, and um, they have this really good foundation powder, which is awesome. Um, it's this caramel, it's even tone, and it's like so cute. It's got, you know, a little mirror in the compact, and it's got the little spongy thing on the bottom, which I use obviously, but it's good. You know, it works. I, I do use liquid foundation at times. I use this Revlon Age Defying, this is like normal combination skin, natural beige. Yeah, and that works good. I blend it in with this, and I also use the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Airbrush Finish Honey Beige Beauty Before. Yeah, see it? I use it with this. It's like a photo finish. It's like, well, oh, it's it's really good. But you know, I have so much of it, I don't even use it that much because I don't wear makeup that fucking much. You know, he used one eye with one he it, so yeah. The lipstick I have on right now is Milani. I have so much Milani shit, it's ridiculous. This is a good price and it works, so. This is called um, Berry Rich. Yeah. See? I love it. And, you know, I am a big lip, red lipstick fan. I mean, not a lot of people can get away with wearing red lipstick, you know. But, you know, try it. You know, what, what's for you is for you. This, like, Bonville stuff, what, um, what Miss Sarah Cupcake on the Wire gave me. I, girl, I've been using this stuff. It is the bomb. Ooh, what else is in here? Ah! I have this other lipstick. Um, it's, ooh, wait a minute, sorry y'all, this is Vintage Wing, and this is the thing by, no, Revlon, Revlon, and here it is, I was about to get in trouble, I didn't know what this was. Up and it's all scratched up. My son gets into my makeup and mama gets mad. Okay, and this is like really awesome. This is like these still lip glazes. This is like watermelon. Yoopy doopy doopy. These are like really really good. And I can have crusty lips. And uh, oh, I got this like fucking like Saturday. This is um. This is awesome. This is lilac and um, pastel red wine. I have another one. Um, let's see, I have another one. <sighs> I forgot the name, the color of it. It's, I know the color is pink. It's really, really off the hook, and it comes on like a little bit of like purple, sheer purple, and it's so good. And I love this. It's good. 
Okay. And last but not least, this is um, um, from the Lamb Collection, the Juicy Couture Collection. And um, this is Love GNP. And um, I got this from fucking. Um, I don't even know where I got it from. Wait a minute. Ah! I got it from Sephora. <laughs> I can't remember. I got it from Sephora. Wait a minute, Sephora. Sephora or Ulta, one of those places, but it smells really good. I like light and airy scents. All that heavy stuff is just ridiculous. I do have some other stuff. So I have this perfume called Light. Wait a minute. It's called Swiss Army. Guys, that is the best smelling perfume ever. Because I like CK1. It's CK1 is unisex. Me and any woman can wear it. It's the kind of stuff I like to wear, you know. It smells so good, and I have some Swiss Army, and it's like, goo, Ooh, it's the best. And I have something else called Lithium, and you're thinking, why would you wear those? Other? Those perfume stupid, and it smells good, but I got, I like, really like this. It's, it's really good. And the minute when he comes from California, boy, I'm gonna tear it up. I can't believe I said that. But anyway. He's fine. I'm in love with him, y'all. For real. I wrote him a love. You know. No, he read it. He liked it. I'm really fond of him. He makes me smile. He's very handsome and tall. And he's just a good guy all around. And, you know, he needs to know that. And he's, he's just... I just like this guy. Yes, and I'm loving him too. So, yeah. Shh. I got to go. So... Yeah. Daisy Locust. Um, girl, happy birthday. Uh, I love you. And I'm sorry I said it so late, but girl, baby girl, happy birthday. Mwah. Yes. Mm. Mikey. Dude. Okay. This dude, I begged him for weeks to do something for me. Okay, I'm gonna put his link in the below bar. If why don't you do first to see part one right here? Talia. Then I want you to look at part two right here. Office debacle. Now if you just gotta check this guy out. He's very funny, his name is Michael Lamour. And he's just funny as crap. I don't even know why he doesn't even have fucking as much as subscribers as I thought he would get. Because this guy is hilarious. And, like, I just, I'm like, dude, why are you, like, more famous on YouTube? You're funny as shit. His comedy is hilarious. And he has the Michael, Mickey from the future. Mickey is, like, this guy who's just not all there together. He comes back. He's kind of and rude and just, you know, he's just a whole bunch of things is wrong with him but you know he goes on these like crazy adventures whatever and they're really really funny and his regular channel it's just funny too so go check them out and he did the office debacle and it was so sweet he did it from in the credits it's you have to just read the credits it has my name in it and this is hilarious so check Nikki out for me please so girls guys Ducks, goats, chickens, and birds, and whatever. You guys, have a good day. And the guy that I'm hopefully head heels over in love with, your green eyed piece of deliciousness. I love you. That's for real. <laughs> Woo, you guys, have a good day. Bye.